BNB just broke its previous all-time high. And while that is happening, Crow is sitting at a measly 11 cents. So what is going on with Kronos? Well guys, I would say let's trap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron. And before we move on guys, I have to say congratulations. Congratulations to Binance, to any BNB holder out there. You guys are back in business at a new all-time high and that's definitely something you have to celebrate because it isn't something we have to take for granted. For example, take, let's take a look at Yota right now. Yota just had an amazing news release. They have their own EVM chain, but man, this, this chain is so, so down. Looking at their highs in the 2017 bull run and then the next high in 2018 and right now they're sitting at over here just $0.23. Cents. So guys, don't take anything like this for granted. What BNB has been doing is quite admirable, I have to say. Anyways, in this video, I want to zoom in on the BNB charts and analyze the price action. And then I want to make the comparison with the Crow token. Because of course, guys, we are mainly a Kronos channel. So if you'd like to see more of that, do like the video and also subscribe for more content. But first, guys, let's start with that chart. What is quite special about the BNB price chart over here is that relatively speaking, it has gone down during the bear cycle, but it hasn't gone down much. Looking at the high and the lows of BNB, we had a high of 690 over here and a low of give or take 200, which is a 70% downturn. That's much, but for crypto, well, that isn't much really. Let me show you by opening the Kronos chart over here with a high of Crow at give or take $1 and a low at $5 cent. That's a 95% downturn. And also let's take a look of the king of crypto, Bitcoin. How much has Bitcoin gone down? Well, Bitcoin has gone down more than BNB. High at 69K and a low at 16K or 15K over here. Due to a relatively strong performance during the bear market for BNB, it has become also easier to go back to its previous all-time high. Go from 200 to 700 over here is just a 3.5x. Of course, I say just a 3.5x, but almost 4x in your price is, of course, really impressive, but not as impressive as what we have seen, for example, with Solana. How they weathered the storm so well during the bear market remains a bit of a mystery for me with BNB. It might have to do something with their parent company, Binance, of course, but. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you have a reason for this. But this is definitely one of the reasons how Binance got back to its all-time high so quickly. To make the jump to Kronos, I also want to show the chart over here because Kronos also had a 3.5x. Over here from $5 cent to over here $17.5 cent, which is also a 3.5x. But did anyone bat an eye? No, no one seemed to care. And I honestly don't blame them because what I often see in the retail market is that a lot of people tend to buy over here, but they don't buy over here where the real opportunity is at. And while talking about opportunities, opportunities often have a narrative around them as well. And what we see over here, even while recording, the BNB price is pumping right now. And that's all too, they have this exchange token narrative. And that's also why I am still bullish on the Crow price. Overall, I do think that the BNB token and the Crow token have so much similarities. They all have exchange utility. They all have their own chain. They also support Binance or Crypto.com cards. So overall, much similarities. But we also do have some things that are different. Because what we see over here is that Crypto.com has a normalized volume of 600 million over here while Binance is talking about 7 billion in volume. So almost like an 11x for Binance just in volume. In that regard, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also totally normal that the Binance coin market cap is a lot higher than the Kronos coin market cap. And that's also exactly what we're seeing on CoinGecko over here. Binance coin a market cap of 110 billion, while down below, Kronos is sitting with a measly 3 billion. So it's a bit strange, I would say, that there's like a 40x difference in market cap, but also I think there we have an explanation. I have already shared this a few times before, but again, guys, first Bitcoin is moving, then 
big altcoins are moving and only then the smaller altcoins are moving. And that's exactly what we have seen. Bitcoin moved to their all-time high and then Binance coin moved to the all-time high. So it's a matter really of time, I would say, until the smaller altcoins like Kronos are going to move as well. Just guys, one step back over here. If the real performance indicator for these exchange tokens is volume, then I don't think that right now Kronos should be sitting this low near 3 billion, guys. There's only like an 11x difference in volume for these exchanges. So then we shouldn't be sitting at 3 billion. We should be sitting at 10 billion right now if we're talking about like a true ratio for exchange volume to market cap. And then we're not talking about 11 cents Kronos, we're talking about 30 cents Kronos. And honestly, that sounds really healthy. To not get your hopes up too much, I do have to point out that the real utility of these tokens is their own chain. We've got the Binance Smart Chain and we've got the Kronos EVM chain. On DeFi Llama, what we can see is that the Binance Smart Chain in general is just huge over here, sitting also at nearly a billion in volume. Well, Kronos, oh man, Kronos just setting at a mere 10 million. So guys, there is still much work to do, still much work to do to grow the Kronos chain. And developers of Crypto.com are working on Zeki Crow. They're working on more launch pads. But overall, I think it's also a bit to the community and to really embrace DeFi. And that's, I think, still one of the things that the Kronos community can help with. And I will do also a video highlighting, for example, the Push Up Fun project coming to Kronos very, very soon. So do stay tuned for that. Overall, I would say it's really healthy for the crypto markets that BNB went back to its previous all-time highs. And again, I do think this shows that the exchange token narrative is still booming. All I can really say to the crow fam out there is be patient. Good things do need time. And I think that time will also be rewarded because I'm not in here for a 3.5x like we just have seen with BNB. I'm in here for 10 to 15, maybe even 20x. So that, guys, is why I am right now in Kronos. Otherwise, I would probably just have bought myself some Bitcoin. Anyways, let me know, guys, in the comments down below what you think. Are you also cheering? Do you have maybe some BNB? And what do you think about Kronos then? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like this kind of content, do leave that like, push the button, and also subscribe for more. But that's me. I'm Nicole Maron, and we'll see you the next time.